Hi, Tracy Lee with Tea Leaf Plans, getting ready to play in my catch-all planner for the week of January 29th. Now, I'm using a undated, so un-undated planner for 2024 for my catch-all. And what that means is you get a big chunk of undated weeks and you need to determine when you're planning in them where the month ends. So how Happy Planner puts together their dates is if a month is ending in the middle of the week, if there are more dates in one month, um, how do I want to say this? If I'll have to show you. So this coming week, the month of January is in this planner spread, 29, 30, 31, and it ends. And then February is one, two, three, four. So because there's four dates out of the seven in February, if this were a dated happy planner, they, this would end January and the, this week would be in February. Um, I thought I had figured that out correctly uh, as I was putting these together, but clearly I did not. So what is nice about the undated, however, um, and in kind of Franken planning is you can honestly do whatever you want. So what I'm going to do now, I decided, is I'm going to remove this page. It does have this little currently um, template on it for February, but what I'm going to do instead is I'm only going to plan the end of January on here, I'll use another paper, probably from my notebook paper, a filler paper for February to do kind of a two-sided currently or maybe a um, recap or journal or collage or what have you. And then I'll start in February doing something similar. So I'll collage this side to fill in those dates and then just have February. And what's nice about that, I think, and I'll see if I like it when we do flip throughs, flip throughs is that when I grab a tab, it means I don't have to go backwards and try to find past a currently page, right? The beginning of February. It means I would just have everything in one February chunk. Hopefully, that's the goal anyway. I'm going to challenge myself, which hopefully will be even easier with half of a week, <clears throat> the short half, to use one book. And I'm going to use this very pastel and soft princess book. I have not used much of it. It looks like I've used um, a couple of little ones. <clears throat> My daughter is named Aurora um, after Sleeping Beauty and the Goddess of the Dawn, but when I was very little, I knew that I would have a little girl named Aurora. Uh, Sleeping Beauty is my favorite princess, and I absolutely love things Disney. I never considered myself a Disney freak until we went to Disney with my daughter, and I walked into one of the bathrooms about halfway through the day, and I said, Aurora, are you in here? And everybody turned and said, is Princess Aurora in here? And that was like the first real indication that I had that, oh my gosh, I have named my child after a Disney character and we are in Disneyland and I might be a freak. <laughs> but it's all in a good way. It is my favorite name in the whole world. I'm not going to just do Aurora in here because I don't have a reason to for the last few weeks of January to make it that way. I... Uh, I'm just blathering on. So we are the 29th, 30th, and 31st. And I'm going to, I'm just gonna write those, I think. Might as well, since it's only. The last little bit. Can't mess that up too terribly, right? <laughs> I mean, we know I can, don't be silly. And really, the only thing, I think we might have family dinner starting up again. I do need uh, to attend a virtual training from home the evening of the 30th. Um, but otherwise, I think it's a pretty calm week. I will be prepping for traveling to North Idaho for the weekend for uh, training that I'm facilitating. Um, so I'll be busy at work. I'm not sure if I will be busy at home. I mean, probably not. I try not to be busy at home. I try to be a bump on the log most of the time. Just playing my planner whenever possible. That's how, how I roll. Uh, I just had a thing in mind and then I lost it. I, okay, there. This fun little assorted princesses, which I really want to say is Princess I, just for fun. Um, I'm going to... I'm gonna think, do I wanna leave that line? 
do I want to put a cute washi under it? I'm going to stick that there and see if we have the sticker tapes in here at all. I don't know if they sometimes have. It's like sticker washi. It's not really washi. I don't know what they're called. Sticker lines. Oh, kind of in these little tags, but they're not going to be the right length. Oh, they're pretty dang close though. They're pretty close. I was kind of hoping. I just got these at the Dollar Tree to test them out. They're five little tiny guys for a buck twenty-five. So if I try them, the sparkly one maybe. That could work. And there's no real green in this book though, so I think I will not do that. I think I will just draw with our handy dandy Jelly Roll Sakura and write out these lines. If you haven't heard this a million times, this works really great for fine lines and it works best when you really, really just like glide over the paper. Um, you can even um, dot it works really well. You can definitely kind of see the dots when I do that. Um, and you need to let it dry a little bit because it is essentially paint or white out, right? Uh, it can take a couple layers, but it uh, is great for hiding the lines without getting a bunch of the white out overhang. And it's a super clever trick. I learned it from planning with Bumble because Mary Ellen is awesome. I have also seen um, Geek Girl Plans, Amanda, explain it in her videos. And hopefully you can go out and just get yourself some of these little Sakura pens. I found mine at Michael's. And I only have the one or the 10, I guess. And the 05. I think that just means one and 0.5, but I'm not sure how that all works. Mm. And then the question is, is how high? So you're careful you can lay this down and then you have a better estimate of how high you need to go on the up lines if you have a cooler trick than that of guesstimating or measuring or any of that I'm not super patient so um, I'm not gonna do anything that takes a ton of time unless it's you know frittering around with stickers which I love doing so let me know okay here we go here's what I'm talking about see so then those overhang what I'm gonna do I'll try not to cut myself on my exacto knife um, if you're really really gentle it's not perfect but then you can come over and scratch the white out off just like you would with paint um, I definitely do this this is the first time I've tried this with the jelly rolls it's not working too shabbily I definitely do it with my white out tape like this um, it just helps give it a little more uh, precision. Okay, and if you've seen this trick that I do, I got this little purse mirror from Brithsy Crafts. I also use it as a little washi tape cutter, and I like to smooth down these clear stickers. So it looks more like the stickers printed on the page than stuck on the page. Again, I never know if you can actually see the difference in the video but I can definitely tell the difference in person and it's a soothing kind of meditative, right? Repetitive action. So it's a bunch of different things all at once. So I like to do it. Okay. Stickerino. The interesting thing doing this without planning with the other page is <clears throat> I'm not, it's more like a current page, right? Where I'm not necessarily sticking stuff here or thinking about doing this line, but I easily could, right? Because then you would just cut it, put a sticker here, cut it, and then use your crop a dial punch to do the holes. I may do that if I feel like I'm not getting enough stickers in, but I think we can get enough stickers in. I think I might use this on Tiana. She has a really cool sticker. Sorry again about my atrocious gross hands. Maybe don't look closely at them. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so that's cool because got black and white. Um, Mm -hmm. 
if you haven't watched Heartstopper, I highly recommend it. It's on Netflix. It's one of the greatest things ever created. It is based on a graphic novel by Alice Osman, and she wrote the um, screenplays for both seasons, actually for all the seasons that'll be um, happening on Netflix. So it's slightly different than the graphic novels, but it is very heartwarming and it gives me all the feels and comfort and safety and it's adorable and I highly recommend it. Oh, these are so pretty. Look at this. Um, okay, these are for a big sticker book, so that's why they don't really fit in these um, perfectly, but that's okay because we often don't fit them perfectly, do we? Because that would be boring. So, if you have been concerned about buying stickers and you can't find uh, something in a mini or a petite or um, in a big, while they are nice because they will fit your boxes specifically, if you are in that specific planner, you can mix and match and um, do whatever you want, which is just pretty freaking awesome because it means that everything is very versatile. Uh, I'm not always a fan of these little corner things, but actually if we get another corner one or one of these longer tabs, maybe. <clears throat> Positive hope, gratitude, forgiveness, happiness, inspiration, confidence, encouragement. Yeah, that's kind of cute. Mm, it might look better if it were moved over slightly, but I'm not going to do it. I'm trying to actually do this rather quickly um, so that I have some easy videos to upload and easy videos to edit and some quick reels to make because I think it's fun to post and share. Um, I also do want to do more in-depth journaling today and that means I have chores that I would like to get done before I do that so that I can feel accomplished. I like feeling accomplished. Hmm, I thought there were going to be more boxes, but maybe that is because I thought this was not a big planner and big planner sticker book. I think it's fine. I'm just going to use one of these. Do I want... These are cute. I like that you can trim these. I think I am going to use these. I'm going to not use a Tiana though because she's already here really big. I want to use somebody. I'm also going to cut these. So when they're in threes like this, it's easy to adjust them, obviously. You can cut into thirds and however you want. Trim them at different lines. Trim them. I'm going to use Aurora by herself somewhere. In, a little weird because not quite the right size, but uh, because we frequently overlap anyway, I think it works just fine. And it certainly makes it easier to know which date it's on, right? They're really big, but they're fun because they're easy to trim and have different opportunities to use those boxes. I feel like I need more, more decor, more drawings. because you know Castle is a big part of this channel although he is nowhere to be found right now so that's probably a blessing oh here's some different color ones 
You want this, more of this. This is such a big box, but then I feel like we brought these colors in. We should spread them around. No, I don't think I'm gonna stick with this. I think this is going to be our main color. Try that. I'm contemplating whether we want to cover all those lines. I think I don't want to. I think I'm going to make it easy today. I'm going to make it easy on us. Oh, we got a tiny rose. We got a tiny rose. Perfect. Right next to Belle. That's kind of meant to be, isn't it? Oh, I never used this. We do have a castle. <laughs> hmm, pyramid? Here we go. Here we go. Y'all, I think we're going to do one other quick little flip through just to see if we need any missed any little little guys but this because this is a big sticker book I think this is what we're going to I might want more sparkles up here maybe we're going to take this lining off because that makes it hard to put stickers back I'm not going to use a whole one I'm going to trim it and I'll be able to put it back <clears throat> that's what I really like this so good Oh, I might not put it back. I might need to do a little over here and a little up here. Let's see how we can utilize this sticker the best. It's the long way first. Just a little bit. That's a pen, not an eyelash or cat hair, so that's new and exciting. Okay, well, I need to clean these. That's so gross. There we go. A little bit there, and then I'm going to this. This is me trying to use my stickers effectively. We are not using that bow scissors again because that was terrible. Oh, you guys, this is a disaster. Okay, here we go. Back in the front stickers. I mean scissors. Then we have this little guy right here. And now this one might be harder to use because obviously we have trimmed off the decorative etching and we're just left with weird shapes, but I think we could potentially fill in some gaps? I'm not sure. I don't think I need to because I think these dots fill it in pretty well. We could use like a strip under January if we cut it right. terrible wife. Ah, it's sticker, sticker, stickers all the time for me. Okay. I did it. We did it. We're done. I'm going to go unload the car now. <laughs> 